Hi, Phyllis here. My website is southernfrugal.com. Today we're going to fix a pork roast. We're going to bake it for, I don't know, probably five, maybe six hours. And what I'm going to do is use that pork roast for many, many meals. So after we cook it, uh, it's going to be like pulled pork. But we're going to divide it up and make a whole bunch of meals out of it. And we're going to have a barbecue for Mr. Bucky. So here's what the roast looks like. Hope y'all can see the name of it. It's really a shoulder roast. So what I'm going to do is uh, bake this uh, in the oven at 300 degrees. And for the last hour or so, I'll probably turn it up to 325 and take the lid off the pot. Now this pot is a uh, chicken baker, turkey, small turkey baker. It's just a porcelain pot. You can buy these, by the way, at Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond, and whatever. All right, so this is packed with a little fluid in it. Let me turn this over. You'll see some of that. So I'm not going to wash it, but I am going to dry it off. And by the way, pork is a really uh, good buy, uh, really cheaper than uh, beef. In fact, much cheaper if you're uh, getting the grass-fed beef. So I'm just going to take it out of this wrapper and then just wipe it off. So some of you younger cooks maybe have never fixed a pork roast like this. You can, of course, cook these on the grill. You can smoke them and whatever. But uh, it's just easier to cook them in the oven. And you want to definitely cook it at about 300 degrees. This is uh, with a bone end. See if you can see the bone right there and right there. And there's, it's going to be uh, have some fat in it. Now I'm going to put the fat side down in the pot. Get this over here. Just like that. And again, cooking it at about 300 degrees for probably four and a half to five hours. Then I'm going to take the lid off of it and cook it maybe another hour just to get a little brown on the top of it. All right, let me take my gloves off. That way I haven't touched anything, so the only thing dirty really are my scissors that open the pack. All right, so I'm not putting any water in it, nothing, because there's fat on the bottom that's going to cook out right to start with. And it might stick a little bit to the pan, but it certainly won't stick much because a lot of liquid is going to cook out of this along with the fat. All right, that's all we're going to do. Put the lid on it, put it in the oven, 300 degrees, cook it. I'm going to say at least four and a half hours at 300 degrees. Then I'm going to take the lid off of it and cook it a little more. Uh, but it should be falling off the bone. And the internal temperature should be 185 uh, degrees when you stick a little uh, uh, temperature gauge in there. Now, if it's falling off the bone, y'all, it's done, okay? All right, so we'll be back in multiple hours and I'll show you what we do with this roast. We'll be back. All right, here's what the uh, roast looks like. It's been cooking, I think, four hours, four and a half hours, and the internal temperature it's already at 200 degrees, which is fine. It only has to be 185 to be done, but you definitely want to cook it longer than that because you want it falling off the bone like that. Now I'm going to cook it maybe 30 more minutes. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit and get it a little more brown on top, and then we'll let it cool, and then we'll be back with y'all and show you how we're going to pull it apart. All right, we'll be back. All right, I actually uh, decided to go ahead and turn this over using the two wooden spoons there and just uh, flipped the whole roast over because I want to get some brown on this. So I'm going to cook it probably another 30 minutes. I'm going to turn the heat up to about 375 and get a little bit of brown on all this. All right, y'all, when this gets done and I take it out of the oven and it's completely cooled enough for me to pull it apart, we'll show you what it looks like. 
All right, I've taken the roast up and it is done completely and fallen off the bone. I'm going to have to wait probably an hour uh, for this all to cool down so I can pull everything apart. But I did brown that top a little more. Of course, this is fat we won't be using, but some of the rest of it is browned. It smells really, really good. All right, y'all, it had no seasoning whatsoever, not salt, not anything because we're going to use it in a whole lot of different meals. All right, we'll be back. All right, we are back, and I have made some baked beans. I've made coleslaw, and we've got uh, corn muffins in the oven. So here's what pulled pork is. Let me turn this down and move you closer. Like right there. So let's see if we can turn this over again. Now remember, I turned it over to get the... Uh, bottom part of it kind of browned. Alright. So we're just going to take a fork and split this open like that. And so in South Carolina what we call pulled pork is when they roast the uh, whole pig, sometimes a couple of pigs, it depending on if it's a large group. They cook it all night over coals and then they just put the whole pig on a big platter and folks come by and pull apart what they want. And so this is a type of pulled pork here because I'm not going to cut it up so we're going to have this for supper tonight, some of it, and then I'm going to freeze it in packets to have in other ways at a later date. So you would just pull out big chunks of what you want. Put barbecue sauce on it and there you have it. Alright, so let me get these all this stuff on the plates and we'll be back and show you what it looks like. Alright, the meal's ready. There's what the pork looks like. Now Mr. Bucky likes the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce and um, we've got baked beans and this is uh, kale and cabbage chow chow. It's kind of my own recipe. I don't think I've done a video on that. And a corn muffin, iced tea, here's mine. And I liked the, uh, I like the uh, Hickory Smoke Kansas City type barbecue with mine. So there it is. So again, pull pork here in this part of the South is when you roast the whole pig over coals and uh, you have a big bunch of people and you just plop it on a platter, the whole pig, and everybody pulls off what they want to eat. So, this is what we did with this roast. We just pulled it apart. So I'm going to freeze a whole bunch of that and it will still be good. There are the baked beans. Alright y'all, we will see y'all next time. Bye for now.